guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite things that I've just been loving lately. Um, I'm not going to call it a favorites video, especially because I literally don't know when I'm going to post this. It could be in the middle of the month. Don't know. And I just haven't done a favorites video in like so long. So I'm really excited to share just some of the things I've been really liking. Um, so yeah, let's get started. That was so weird. Okay. I actually have a couple of food favorites that I'm going to mention first and then I'll get into the makeup because I know I'm going to forget about the food if I don't do it first. So first we have Cheetos because of it's Cheetos, duh. So I've been trying to be healthier lately and like obviously I'm talking about Cheetos so I'm not trying to be like perfect but I'm trying to find like better substitutions for the crap that I eat. So when it comes to chips, it's so hard to find like a decently calorie like chip. Most chips, if you look at the nutrition, it's like 210 calories for like six chips. Like no thank you, no thank you. Like no one's going to eat six chips, no one, okay? It's just a fact. And so these Cheetos are so good. So good. They are the Simply Cheetos Puffs White Cheddar. It is 160 calories for 32 pieces, which is not that bad if you just want like a little treat. So same thing goes for the next food favorite. This is the Protein Fiber One Chewy Bars in Cookies and Cream. It's so good. It's basically like eating cookies, um, but it does have protein in it. It has, it is 140 calories, six grams of protein. It does have five grams of fiber and seven grams of sugar, which is not great. But again, for a treat, not so horrible. But anyway, let's get into the makeup. Let's get into the part that you actually guys wanna see. So let's start off with this guy. Um, this is the e.l.f. I actually don't know what this is called. What are you called? But it is basically just a liquid that helps take off liquid lipsticks. And as a lip junkie and as someone that does a lot of lip swatching videos, this has been my savior. Oh my god, it's literally so helpful. It removes it, it makes it so easy. Like before I would just take makeup wipes or coconut oil and just like scrub the crap out of my lips. This makes it so much easier and I think it's three dollars. So worth it. If you wear liquid lipsticks or lipsticks that are hard to get off, get yourself one of these. Then I have a highlighter that I did a review on. I can link it down below but it is the e.l.f. HD Shimmering, Shimmering Highlighting Powder in Pearl Glow. Oh, I love it. Of course, I'm not wearing it today. I'm an idiot. Like some of these products I should have worn today. I was not thinking. Um, but this for pale girls, girl, it's gonna be your best friend. Like it's so good. And I'm gonna put some on over top of what I have going on. It's so beautiful. Like just my favorite, favorite, favorite. And I know I've mentioned it several times. So you guys are like, stop talking about it. But I can't. It's just gorgeous. Then I have a NYX palette. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I feel like maybe I have. But this is their Surreal My Heart. And it is beautiful and it's perfect for fall. I just feel like they have a really good variety. And this is really amazing for creating several different looks. Just like look how pigmented and beautiful these are. I didn't do a very good job swatching but hopefully you get the point. They are really pigmented and gorgeous. While I'm talking about eyeshadows, I don't care how popular this palette is. I don't care how overhyped it is. I got this for my birthday. In case you have no idea what I'm talking about, sorry. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette that's been so hyped and if you don't know what this is then you are living under a rock. But this palette, she did such a good job and I'm a huge Jaclyn Hill fan so I definitely could be biased but I love the formula. I can get so many eye looks out of this palette. Look at how unbelievable these colors are. One pass. One pass. I can't say enough good things about it. I know it is expensive, but if you can get your hands on it, if you can ask for it for Christmas or something like that, I highly recommend it. So my next favorite, it's very exciting because I have been on the hunt for a really good cruelty-free drugstore mascara. And I think I found it. This is the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. I've been using it every single day. I love it. Um, there are times where it's a little bit hard to work with. But overall, it's the best drugstore mascara I've ever tried for sure, hands down. Another one of my favorites is a brush set that I recently reviewed. I can leave it down below. But this brush set from BH Cosmetics, the Crystal Quartz, I believe it is limited edition. So definitely get your hands on it. I love this set so much. Really good variety, really good quality, and just like perfect for me. I love it so much. Okay, I have a little intermission. I was filming a lip swatch video and then I looked down and I completely forgot to mention my favorite skincare 
and I know I'm wearing a different shirt and look different um, but let me talk about these really quickly. So first we have an e.l.f. product. This is the Daily Face Cleanser with Purified Water. This really makes my skin feel very clean. Like I just feel very squeaky clean when I use this. So I try not to use it every single time because I do feel like it does dry my skin out a little bit. But for $4 it has definitely become one of my favorite cleansers that I have tried. So the next product that I have is a Say Yes To product. And normally I really don't like the Say Yes To line or products or anything. But lately I have been finding a few products that really work with my really sensitive skin. Um, for me I really like this Calming Micellar Cleanser Water. But you just take one of those pads and then you like it's so sanitary and so you squeeze you know down we pump it down and then it comes out with product and it re I remove my eye makeup that way and it's really gentle for me um, and it's only 450 at Walmart everywhere else it's like $12 or something like that so go to Walmart <laughs> 450 heck yeah love those two products so both like four bucks Yes, Sunny. All right. So my last three favorites are lip products, and no, I'm not wearing them. I don't know what my problem is today. I was not thinking about putting the things on. That was my favorites. But anyway, I am wearing Over Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Atlantic City, if you guys are wondering. Um, but these are my three favorites. So the first one we have is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in Give Me Mocha. This is a perfect brown red. I love this color. It is a wearable beautiful fall shade. I love it. Oh my, my next favorite is this Buxom. I don't know what it is. All it says is centerfold on it, which I'm assuming is the color of it. I did get this for free. I don't remember for what, if it was from Ulta or if it was from Sephora. I don't remember at all, um, but it's just a really pretty pinky nude, um, and I've just been obsessed with it. The formula is really, really nice, and I got it for free, so that was a positive, you know. So my last favorite is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Honeymoon. I love this color so much. It is a really pretty cool toned purple pinky mauve color and it's just so unique and so beautiful and I get compliments every single time I wear it. It is absolutely gorgeous.